And joining us as he does each month is District Attorney Scott Riley with the 36th Prosecutorial District that covers Catawba, Burke, and Caldwell counties. Good to see you again. Oh, thank you very much, Rob. Thanks hope for having me. I hope your year is off to a good start. I know that uh, it's, it's kind of tough after all the holidays getting into the year, but we're now almost at the end of the month of January. Yeah, and the District Attorney's Office, we've had a good month um, this, this month of January. We've had two terms of court in Catawba County, the same in Burke and Caldwell. Uh, usually we do a murder or we try to focus on a murder case or a uh, child sex offense. Uh, this month we did habitual felons, uh, crimes of violence, and uh, drug trafficking. And so we had a very successful month. And the habitual felon, for those who don't know, if you are designated as an habitual felon, and I know in some cases that even when an individual pleads, they admit to it, then you, that lengthens the sentence. Yeah, a, an habitual felon is somebody who has already been convicted of three prior felonies and is now committed and is convicted of a fourth. Their sentence will be enhanced because of their prior record and their status as being an habitual Felon. I know you wanted to talk about some individual cases. Right. Uh, Kanye Montgomery was uh, pled guilty earlier this year. Uh, she pled guilty to being an habitual felon and common or attempted common law robbery. Um, she had three prior felonies. This was her fourth. She uh, t took somebody's pocketbook, um, took the debit card out of the pocketbook, and then attempted to use that at an ATM machine. And thankfully, um, it was declined. But she was. Uh, um, arrested and pled guilty and she received a sentence of seven to ten years and again her sentence was enhanced by her status as being an habitual felon. Um, later uh, that same week Marcus Mayfield was convicted of robbery with a dangerous weapon. Um, he received a sentence of six to nine years because of the violent nature of his offense. He actually pointed a gun at somebody and took their phone and their wallet. Uh, Johnny Hawkins he also pled guilty to being an habitual felon, and he pled guilty to felony larceny. Um, you now, this was something that we took very seriously. It was retail theft that we don't really usually talk about, but um, a, lot, a lot of these people are going into our big stores like Walmart or Ulta Beauty or um, uh, Lowe's Hardware and taking some big ticket items, and Johnny Hawkins had gone in there, took a, I think it was a leaf blower, um, just took it and then brought it back and returned it as though he had purchased it and received a gift card uh, for that. And uh, retail theft is really, really a very serious crime and we're trying to uh, take it very seriously. Um, he received a sentence of six to nine years for his offense. Uh, we also look at uh, trafficking. Trafficking fentanyl is one of the most serious offenses that we're taking very seriously because of the devastating effects that fentanyl is having in our district. Alexa Carnes pled guilty to trafficking fentanyl earlier, earlier this month and received a sentence of six to eight years. Noticing a lot of death by distribution arrests around the region, not just in, in our district, but in other districts that we cover as well. So this really seems to be uh, an emphasis of law enforcement at this point. But, right. We're trying to get it on both ends, either the people that are possessing it before they sell it and if, if they're trafficking they're going to receive a sentence of at least six to eight years and then if unfortunately they sell it to somebody who overdose and and dies then they're going to be convicted or charged and we're going to prosecute them for death by distribution well thank you so much and we look forward to talking to you next month i look forward to it thank you for having me district attorney scott riley he joins us each month here on whky news